We begin with some advice for those of you still working at home. Earlier this summer, many companies made plans to bring their employees back to the office after being at home due to the pandemic. However, the Delta variant has slowed the return. If you're still working from home, our first guest has some advice for staying focused. Sandra Lane is a certified professional organizer, productivity specialist, and the founder of Organization Lane. She's also the author of the best-selling book, Ask the Organizer. Welcome back, Sandra. Here we are, nearly 19 months into the pandemic and still some people are working from home. So let's talk about some of the best practices for those folks. Sure. So I think that we could sometimes lose sight of the fact that just because we can access our office at home 24-7 doesn't mean we have to be in there 24-7. So I think it's very important to have a discipline of when you're going to start and end your day so that your work life does not bleed into your home life because that will really become problematic down the road. And another very important best practice is to handle distractions and interruptions. And I like to put them in two buckets, internal and external. But do what you can to satisfy, eliminate, or set boundaries for those distractions. Oh, let's talk about those distractions. Let's start with the internal distractions. What are those? Sure. So it's just like it sounds. It's biological. It's coming from inside of us. Our body is talking to us, telling us that we'd rather eat uh, or get a good night's sleep instead of work. So what can you do to satisfy those distractions before they even happen? And a lot of it all happens in our head. So for example, how about if we just start with getting dressed to come to the office, you know, get out of your pajamas and sweatpants, put your game face on, a, you know, a football player does it with a uniform, you can do it as well. And that could really impact your productivity just right there. Get a good night sleep, make sure you're fueling yourself with uh, foods that are high in protein and low in sugar so you don't have those crashes hydrate yourself with water, get exercise daily, even if it's just walking your dog, I'm pointing to my dog who's here, um, <laughs> make sure that you're also sitting in a comfortable chair, your body could be talking to you with some aches and pains in your back and your hips, or lighting, make sure your lighting is up to par so you're not straining your eyes, and take time to walk away from your desk and take an appropriate lunch break. Those are great suggestions. So now let's move on to the external distractions. What are those? Yeah, so those are devices. They are outside of us and they're gonna be anything um, that calls to us that's on the outside, a messy desk, uh, your phone, any notification, ring, ping, or ding, noise in your office space, whether it's at home or in a corporate setting, coworkers or kids interrupting you. And solutions when it comes to those external distractions, and this is just a short list, but let's start by keeping your workspace free of any clutter. That visual distraction can really get in the way of maintaining focus. Another tip that I also have, because sometimes we just can't help ourselves, we need to just pick it up and look, but turn off those notifications, set it on do not disturb. And during that time, do your focused work, right? Actually use a timer, 30 to 45 minutes of deep interrupted work will propel you further than trying to deal with your distractions that keep ringing and pinging. Make sure that you schedule time to check email rather than picking this up to check email every time you hear that ring, ding, or ping. And reward yourself. You know, you may wanna surf the internet, may want to play a game, but give yourself that reward to do that after your work is done. Another distraction, rewards. yeah, another distraction that we, we may come across is going to be that noise, right? That's around us. So use earbuds or, you know, noise canceling headphones. Um, see if that will kind of drown out what's going on around you so you can do your focused work that's right in front of you. Sandra, these are all great suggestions. I'm a victim of all of them, especially the mess. Now, I, we're just about out of time. I know you have a red light, green light system, and we will tell our viewers to go to your website and learn more about that. As always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you would like more hints for... Thank you. If you would like more hints for organizing your home, office, and life, pick up a copy of Sandra's book and check out her blog. We'll have the information posted to our website.